What's good, family? So, today I just wanted to talk to y'all about knowing when it's time for a change. That's basically it. Just knowing when it's time for a change. I'm getting to a point now where, like, I'm in a good position in my life. You know how you just, everything going smooth, you know what I'm saying? Everything is what it is. It's copacetic, you know what I'm saying? You got your, you got your basics down packed. You got your schedule down packed. You got your budget down packed. Then you hit this mundane wall, like, damn. So this is what it is, huh? <laughs> so this is what the fuck it is. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Because, you know, at some stages in your life, you will hit that wall just out of pure boredom. And it's just like, you got to remind yourself that sometimes you got to enjoy that boredom because it's really peace. And sometimes, you know, motherfuckers just don't be used to that type of peace. But then it also comes to a time where, like, it's time for a change. And what I mean by that is, let's not, I I don't even want to put it as to, like, something has to genuinely go wrong. Because there are those instances. It be those instances where, like, you in a position or you at a company and just ain't shit going right. You know for sure them them the obvious red flags like oh yo I gotta go I gotta make a move something's gotta give it is what it is you know what I'm saying we're gonna regroup later I ain't talking about one of them times though I ain't talking about one of them times I'm talking about the subtle times the ones that's like so peaceful and so mundane you so bored you don't really got much challenge in your life them the times i'm talking about y'all because them the most beautiful parts because for one ain't shit really going wrong in your life for you to be like oh yo i gotta make this move so i can like keep my stability ain't none of that so you not necessarily feeling rushed at the same time though these moments is when you like feeling like you can just do just a little bit more just a little bit more like you got your routine down pack okay got that got your budget you know what type of money you making you don't want to make no less than that if you was to ever change up some shit okay cool got that got your energy levels up where you can handle the stress and the work that you trying to put out okay got that all of it in in cahoots okay you got your got your basics in order got everything in place what's next what's next you hear me that's the state of my life i'm in currently y'all i ain't lying I'm on some what's next type shit. I fuck with this job. I do. I really do. I really do. But, um... I don't know. I'm thinking about entrepreneurship, to be honest. Been giving it a lot of thought. And I think it's time to make that move. The reason why I say that is because I never just really fully saw myself working for a person for long term. Like, not no forever basis, not even no five year basis. Um, and I can always find another job. This entrepreneurship shit don't work out. I can always find another trucking gig for as long as they need drivers. I can do that. Even when, because it will, when it comes to a point where they don't need drivers no more, 
I can always go back to my other set of skills that I had before I even went into trucking. I got people in IT that fuck with me. I got good connections that way. I got associates in that. So, you know, I mean, I don't care for it personally, but if I have to, I will lean on that. Or I can get me, like, a trucking administration um, job somewhere, working in one of the companies. It's just so much stuff that, like, you can fall back on. Even if I was just to stay back in Memphis and just do warehouses. I know a few warehouses starting off at $20 an hour. Not bad. I can find another job. I want to see what the entrepreneurship lifestyle is. I really do. (laughs) I really want to step up and see what it's like. And if I fall on my ass, shit, so fucking what? (laughs) That's what my ass there for, goddammit. For real, like, think about it. Now, this is just for me and my experience, y'all. I can't tell y'all what y'all next step is in life. But for me personally, like, knowing that I can always find another gig in case this shit don't work out, at the most that I'm risking, I'm risking two things, my time and my money. My time is going to take for me to build this entrepreneurship lifestyle and the money that I'm going to have to invest in that I might not necessarily get back. I also thought about the fact that, like, shit, I probably lost more, if not, like, the same amount of money with fucking speeding tickets and shit. Like, man. My tickets I used to get was bad before I even got my license, man. I get a speeding ticket and then turn around and get another ticket for not having a license while speeding. Like it was, it was bad. I stayed in the courtroom downtown. I'm really surprised they gave me my motherfucking trucking license. <laughs> I'm really surprised that I got that CDL, y'all. <laughs> it was bad. Like I had to go to class and everything. Like it was bad. I spent the hell of a lot of money trying to clean up my driving record. So it's like. It's not like I ain't never wasted money before in my life. For real. From the bullshit that I done bought. To not knowing how to budget. I done spent print plenty of bread. But now I got to the point where like. I really know how to save. And I really got some. I got a fair amount saved up right now. I really do. And I just, I cannot shake the feeling, y'all. I can't shake the feeling that I just want to try this entrepreneurship. I really do. No, ain't nothing going wrong. Ain't no red flags at the job. No shit like that. It's just time for a change. I feel it. I've been pondering on it for a while. I think it's time to make that move. So, that's me. I hope this video helps y'all and pushes y'all to make the moves that y'all want to make in life. And I pray it goes well. I really do. I really do. And if it don't, shit, try again. Never know. (laughs) Alright, y'all. I'm going to get to it. Hope you have a good day.